Hi, I'm Daniel Lovell, an audio application specialist at Avid. In this video, we're going to look at the new batch track and batch clip renaming features in Pro Tools 12.8.2. To begin with, let's look at the batch track renaming dialog. We can access this dialog by either right clicking on a track's name or by using shortcuts. Like other Pro Tools dialogs, there are recallable presets and the ability to save and import settings. Batch renaming is applied to the currently selected tracks only. The first section is Replace. Here you can simply find an alphanumeric text match and replace it, as well as a checkbox to clear existing names for the following rename functions and regular expressions to enable advanced matching and replacing. The next section is Trim, allowing you to trim characters from the beginning and end of a track name, as well as a range of characters in the middle or a combination of both. The number is simply the position of the character in the track name. Add allows you to add text at the beginning, end, or at a specified point, or a combination of those. Numbering allows you to add numbers or letters at the beginning, end, or at an index in increasing increments with or without a separating character. The process order follows the sections from top to bottom. Importantly, the track renaming is able to be easily undone in case you need to tweak your renaming options. In this example, I have used regular expressions to search for a range of text matches and replacements, as well as the trimming function to suit my particular file name length and the add function where I can easily adapt the number as required. This allows me to easily and quickly duplicate and rename a range of tracks. The same batch renaming logic and functions also apply to a new batch clip rename. With the addition of the option to rename the clips in either timeline order or from the clip list sort order. Batch clip rename will apply to the currently selected clips on the timeline or the clip list. As the batch clip rename names the clips rather than the files themselves, this allows for instances where queues or files will have the same name but will be exported to distinct folders. An example would be in gaming where you have multiple languages and each queue is named the same for each language but will need to be exported to the specific language's master folder.